Right, we're back on site. We're just lifting our profiles here. That's it. Been busy this morning while I've been sorting out a bit of paperwork. He's got all of the boards loaded up. We've got a tub of muck up here on the boards, ready to rock. We're just going to get this clamp on here. We're going to lift the profile on the other side and we're going to get cracking. We've got a lot to get through today. It's quite windy. So we're going to have to take extra care when we are putting this block work up. We're not going so high like our Keegan. Um, about four course of blocks or something so we're only going four course of blocks but still that gust is quite breezy so it, it's breezing it's gusting this way what are you laughing at gust is quite breezy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm gonna put that in the video like i'm not i'm not messing around with it now. so the gust is quite breezy <laughs> It's coming this way, the gust. So if anything, the block work, if it wants to fall, is going to fall out onto the scaffold, which is not fine, but it's fine. Because at least it's not going to fall in there where there's no floor and inside of the house. With that said, we're going to blast the block work through, blast the brickwork through. The brickwork is going to be tied into the block work, obviously, and that should give it some extra support We'll brace the back of the block work, we'll brace the front of the block work, and we should be okay. So, all of that said, we're gonna crack on and lash on, so we'll see you in a bit. Today's job, I'm going to spin this camera around so I can show you because I'm by myself. Build up from these soldiers up to our height, back up with block work. We're going to have to just smash out that cavity there. That is going to bring us to our little height, which is this over there. We'll go over to the front now and have a look. This is what we've been running in through the week. I've started to knock these out. We've got to take these two yellows out, get them out, get this pieced up to the little height up here. Get our little across. The job is good.
also did it to the lintel height right now. We're seeing this on, it's an HD lintel, so that means heavy duty. We're going to have maybe three or four of the trusses on top of the um, lintel, so it needs to be heavy duty for that reason. Brushed off now. I'm going to stick this lintel on. Bed on your brickwork, bed on the blockwork. Oh, it's been to see that. Make sure the brick is on there and the back of the lintel there. Make sure you've got a bit of room. You're going to be putting a bed on there. You don't want it really tight up. You end up pushing your brick right out, you know. Especially we've got solar course going over there now. So push that right to the back of the lintel there. I've got a nice, a nice bit behind the brick. Uh, behind the brick there now, up against the lintel. So, that is it. Here's your, your 150s for your bearings. Let's have a look. Got, so, end of the lintel. 100 and, 180 or something like that. Shift that. We got uh, 170 there, so more than enough bearing for them. Underneath side, like I was saying, these need to be full flush in a cavity there. Don't know if you can see, make sure you clean this knot off the back of the cavity. Same for your brickwork side, clean the front side, front side, and um, yes, that is it. Okay, I'm gonna crack them with something else. Catch you in a bit. It's Tuesday morning, this is really, really cringy. Hello Nick, you on the camera? Hello, Hello. Right. Hello lovely. <laughs> Ran the panel but it was easier to build it out with bricks. It's a totally different day than it was one hour ago. <laughs> Isn't it? It was absolutely hanging down with rain. We're finished now for David Nicholas construction on this extension that we built on top of the garage. 